Hey YouTubers. Hey, I had a uh, request to uh, take some shots of the feed charts um, for threading on the Grizzly G0709 gunsmith lathe. So um, I'm going to put together this real quick short video and hopefully this will help you out on deciding uh, which lathe you need for your threading work or gunsmith work or whatever it may be. So here you go. These are uh, videos of the thread charts and I will try to take this um, slowly. I'm not sure how clear this is going to come out, but um, I'll just take my time here. Um, the F, G, and H basically are the three different gear sets that you will need for different thread pitches uh, or threads per inch. Um, F is the most popular one for American threads and to change to G it's less than a five minute job. It's pretty simple. Um, you basically just swap two uh, gears. Um, you don't add or take away any gears when you change these. You just swap them and put them in different positions for the different um, ratios. Okay, so here's the feed chart. I will go out and in on this. So. And I am not, I am sorry if this doesn't come out real clear. I'm not really sure how else to do this, except maybe add some pictures at the end. Okay. I'm going to drop down to the metric thread pitches. The larger numbers on top, one through eight, um, that, that's for your, uh, this dial down here. Right here is a one through eight for it. And then the other letters designate the first letter is your F gear set. And then the next three letters are these dials right here or knobs. It's pretty simple, pretty quick and easy to do. Um, I'll drop down now to the inch one. And if this doesn't even come out, um, I'm probably just going to take some pictures and try to put some pictures up. Uh, here's MP, which I believe is pipe, pipe threads. I have never used it. The two thread pitches that I normally do for gun barrels is uh, 24, 28, and then of course AKs are 14 by one left-handed. And um, I have not had to change the gear set for any of those. Okay, and then this is one other little scale on the lathe, which may come in handy. And that's for locking your half nut, what numbers you lock on your half nut. Well, I hope that helps you out. Anyway, see you for now.